Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day, Grade 6 learners. Welcome to another exciting learning journey in TLE. I am Teacher Junaira Ali from Bubong Lalabuan Elementary School, Balindong District 2 of Division of Lanao del Sur 1. I am your TLE buddy for fourth quarter. Yes, you heard it right. You are now in fourth quarter. Congratulations! In fourth quarter, we will focus on industrial arts. According to Miriam Webster, it is a subject that taught in elementary and secondary that aims at developing manual skills and familiarity with tools and machines. It is commonly referred to as technology education. Hmm, sounds interesting, right? So everyone, get your pen, paper, and your TLE module. Let's get started! And our lesson for today is all about the importance and methods of enhancing and decorating bamboo, wood, and metal products. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to discuss the importance and methods of enhancing decorating bamboo, wood, and metal products. Second, exhibits creativity and innovativeness enhancing and decorating bamboo, wood, and metal products. And lastly, appreciate the importance of enhancing and decorating finished products. So before we go on, let's have an unlocking of words. What's the word? Rearrange the jumble letters to form a word based on the given definition. I'll give you 10 seconds to jumble. Number one is marketability. It is a measure of whether a product will appeal to buyer and sell to a price range to generate profit. Marketability. Number two. Number two is innovation. Introducing new ideas, original and creative thinking. Innovation. Number three. Number three is enhance. Further improve the quality of the product. Enhance. Number four. Number four is accessories, a thing which can be added to something else in order to make it useful, versatile, or attractive. Accessories. And the last. And the last one is decorate. Look more attractive by adding extra items or images on it. Decorate. So this time, let's have a game. Let's call this game Maida. All you have to do is to group the given products according to the materials that they are made of. The products are music instrument, basket, a dining set, kettle, a door, and a shoe rock. Time is up. Let us check it together. The given materials are the bamboo, wood, and metal. Products that are made from bamboo are the music instrument and a basket and the products made from wood 
are the dining set and a door. And the products that made from metal are the kettle and a shoe rock. Hmm, so what do you think? Why is it important to enhance and decorate these products? So this is it, the importance of enhancing and decorating the product. First, attractive and more sellable. People tend to buy products that are attractive. Once a product is enhanced and decorated, it is more appealing to the customers, those resulting to more sales and profit. Finished products are more sellable to customer when enhanced and decorated. Sa madaling salita, kapag kaaya-ayang tingnan ng isang produkto, nakaka-attract ito ng mga mamimili. Kaya madali itong maibenta. Second, durable and more beautiful. Durability of the product depends on the materials used. We are rich of local materials in the community, favorable for project or furniture making. Once a product is enhanced and decorated using innovative finishing materials, the product is more durable and will last longer. Finishing materials preserve and protect the product. Enhanced and decorated bamboo, wood, and metal products help maintain their durability against harsh elements. Magiging maganda at matibay ang isang produkto kapag ito ay ginamitan ng mga matitibay na materyales. And lastly, profitable. Profitability of the product depends on the quality of the materials used. The workmanship and creativity of how it is done and hard to satisfy the clients. Enhanced and decorated products also increase sales and bring more profit. Finished products that are enhanced and decorated would beautify the product itself. Isa sa dahilan bakit madaling maibenta ang isang produkto ay matibay at maganda ito. Sino namang mamimili? ang magkakagusto or bibili ng isang produktong madaling masira o di kaya hindi magandang tingnan, di ba? Kaya mas marami ang suki ng negosyanteng nagbebenta ng mga produktong matitibay at magaganda. The methods of enhancing and decorating the product there are different methods and consideration of enhancing and decorating products depending on the availability of materials, customer's preference, and marketability of the product. May iba't ibang klaseng proseso sa pagpapaganda ng isang produkto. Nakadepende na iyon sa materialis na gagamitin o sa gusto ng customer o di kaya kung gaano ito kabenta sa market. The 8 methods of enhancing wood and bamboo products and these are wood turning, pyrography, hand carving, flacking technique, inlaying, gilding, staining, and painting. Wood turning. It is a process of using a lathe to make a various forms and shapes of wood. The key word in wood turning are shapes of wood, shapes of wood, wood turning. Pyrography. It is the art or technique of decorating wood or leather by burning a design on a surface with a heated metallic point. The key word in pyrography are burning a design. 
burning and sign pyrography hand carving it is considered a woodcraft in which a sharp object is used to create designs on the wood cheap carving knife gouges and chisels are used in this technique the key word in hand carving are sharp object sharp object hand carving flocking technique it lines the interior of drawers and boxes with a soft velvety finish the key word in flocking technique are soft velvety finish soft velvety finish flocking technique in laying it combines several techniques that involve inserting decorative pieces into a base object to incorporate new designs on the original products the key word in inlaying are inserting decorative pieces in gilding it is a decorative technique in which powder is applied on wood or other materials to give a thin coating of gold method of this technique include glowing chemical gilding and coating the key word in gilding is gold gold gilding staining it is used to color wood to give an illusion of texture this may come into two varieties the key word in staining is illusion illusion Stain. And these are the varieties of staining. First, pigment-based stain that will color large parts of the wood. Then, the dye-based stain that will color small parts of the wood. And the last, painting. It is the simplest way of decorating wood since there are a variety of colors that you can choose from. One may also add a lacquer finish to make it shiny and glossy. The key word in painting are simplest way. Simplest way, painting. The four methods of enhancing metal products. First, engraving. Second, itching. Third, metal enhancing media. And last, Texturing and embossing. Engraving. It is a transferring of design on metal using hardened steel tool called burn or graver to cut into the surface of the metal. The key word engraving is burn or etching. It is a process used to make designs or pictures on a metal plate by using acid that produces corrosive action. The key word in etching is acid. Metal enhancing media. Use of metal paints, markers, and antiquing kits give color to the metal product. Metal paints may be applied using a brush, or spray the key word in metal enhancing media are antiquing kits and lastly texturing and embossing in this technique you will need a hammer metal stamp stencils and other materials to create imprints on the metal the key word in texturing and embossing is imprints and that's our lesson all about how we learn something new i hope you do so let's have an assessment time your tle6 teacher assigned me to make project using local materials such as bamboo wood or metal found in your community 
She instructed you to make this project attractive and sellable. And the first question is, what possible method of enhancing bamboo, wood, or metal product are you going to use and why? And then, write two to three sentences about the method you have chosen. Write your answer on your module. And that's all for today, my critics learners. I hope you have learned something new today. And always remember, with DLE, you are always ready. See you again.